So this is a demonstration of the new opt out of security permanently option on any pathway device that has a front panel like the Quattro, the Octo, the E-Link, or the VS switches. So after a factory default, you will be greeted with the security mode screen. And the default is to wait for Passcape to secure the device. So this is just like version six firmware in Passcape four. Uh, you can run off to your laptop now and add it to a security domain. The other option is to locally configure it only, which means you will not be able to use Passcape, but you will be able to use the front panel or disable security altogether. So you can see on the screen, Passcape says it is ready to be secured, but I'm going to choose the disable security option and I am going to opt out of security. And then the front panel will remind me that security has been disabled by the user. I am now free to go in and do any sort of setup that I want from the front panel, including network setup or anything like that. Or on Passcape, if I look at my security domain, it says security has been disabled by the user. And I have the ability to give properties and configure it from Passcape. And you can see I can be either on the front panel or on Passcape. So at this point, you may opt to just hide this security column. So after it comes out of a factory default, I will then be greeted to go to the front panel and choose an option. Let's say in this case, I'm going to do local security only. I don't have a laptop. So I'm going to do local configuration. So now I'm again free to go in and change any properties I want from the front panel. In this case, the front panel doesn't say that I have disabled security because that's not true. And if you go look at Passcape, I see that this device, even though I'm logged into this domain called 24WML, this singular device, which I've just defaulted, is in read only. So I now do not have the option to change any of its properties where other devices that are in the domain, I do. And the device menu will not allow me to reboot it or do a factory default. That must be done from the front panel. So once again, I will go into factory default for this device. And it, when it comes out of its boot sequence, so I see the device that is ready to secure. I can now administer my domain and I can add the device that is not in my domain. And the device will get the domain name and eventually it will get a green padlock. And then now we have the ability to change any of the properties we want.